Cancer Soul Travelers, blessings and welcome to Venetian Empress Oracle. You are joining Priestess Melissa. We are here to do your weekly reading and we are going to be doing so with the Star Temple Oracle deck. We'll get your main message as well as your affirmation for this week. All right, and then we'll get into our Soul Helper Oracle cards, Cancer, and see what is going on with three more cards and then tap into our light seers tarot to clarify that even further wow got some toxic energy maybe we may be dealing with in the area of love maybe there's not a there's a what do they say trouble in paradise <laughs> definitely you know when you got some diabolical energies running around maybe you just became enlightened about something getting a new perspective about the situation that you're in cancer well we'll tap into our romance angels cards at the end we always get love messages here at venusian empress oracle and so we will tap into the romance angels at the end of your reading stick around for that now not all readings are going to resonate with everyone do check your sun moon rising and venus signs for messages in those uh, readings that may be of use to you now, if you do want a personal reading, reach out to me personally at venusianways.org. Also, do not miss out on these awesome blessing bundles that are blessed by an ordained and initiated priestess. We have smoke and smokeless versions, all right? And this comes with a selenite wand as well, venusianways.org. Watch your ears for just a moment. Thank you as we set the circle of protection and wisdom for cancer thank you to the angels ancestors way showers and guides we honor you take a couple of nice slow deep breaths and relax cancer i feel like there is a a lot on your mind right now i feel kind of um you know, just like I'm trying to think, but sometimes, you know, I find that my mind is wandering. Maybe you're finding that your mind is wandering right now as you're trying to stay focused or do other tasks, two, 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 while you're in the midst, perhaps, of something, you know, a life-changing thing, a decision that you're having to make, a change in your household or something of that nature is what I was feeling coming through. So I feel like this, you know, Others may not necessarily know exactly what you're going through, but you're dealing with this, trying to carry on, you know, like everything's all right, perhaps. All right, we got the energy of the ruby star and flow coming out today. I embody my authentic and sensual essence, the seven sisters circle. Sisterhood enriches my life. I almost feel like, you know, there's this energy of you trying to regain your stability and maybe like your sisters or, you know, those female friends are helping you right now. Wow, we've got the winged messengers as well. Creation, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. I feel like the direction of something has changed for you at this time. And I feel like you're trying to get into the flow of whatever that is or moving in that direction you know your circle um, of friends is going to be very important for you it feels like right now for that nurturing and support all right female friends of some sort I feel is coming through here today for you to help you to regain your stability um, or male as well you know but these cards come out as female but this is more you know I need to feel that nurturing energy to have that circle of friends and protection around you basically at this time, um, male or female, you know, because you may be going through something tough and you really need that uh, camaraderie, if you will, you know, right now. So the ruby star and flow star words for this card are joy feel and twinkle the ruby star symbolizes the energetic vortex of the root chakra. And so Ruby may be an energy that you need to work with. If you have some, definitely work with that and put it on your root chakra. You know what I mean? At the base of your spine there. Um, you could lay on your stomach while you do this, of course, or you could lay on your back. It doesn't really matter. Um, this red portal is the stargate to realizing and grounding your deepest desires. The crystal spirit of the Ruby personifies vitality, primal hunger, and passion 
and a thirst for pleasure. It's almost like, you know, a big change, like something has to change, you know, you're, this is like foundational type changing, right? Maybe you're realizing again that something needs to change. This collaborative partnership embodies your sacred authentic authenticity and sensuality. Maya encourages you to feel deeply into your senses and establish your sensual flow power and strength to thrive not just to survive so this is about how can we live life not just you know get by within this world all right so your affirmation for this week i embody my authentic and sensual essence i embody my authentic and sensual essence i embody my authentic and sensual essence. So this is being who you truly are. And maybe your friends, your circle is helping you to see that once again, you know, to get yourself back on track kind of situation. And also call on your angel guides and friends as well to support you and surround you at this time, as of course they do. Again, as you may be creating this new circle, you know, your new circle of friends, perhaps even, um, yeah, I just feel like a lot of shifts for you in any case, you know? So let's see what the Soul Helper Oracle cards have to say for you. We'll get three cards out today to give us a little bit of a clearer message for you. So here we go. For Cancer, please. What do we need to know for Cancer, please? And the Ruby Star. You're definitely growing and healing. You're undergoing a big spiritual change right now. You know, you are connecting more inwardly i feel with yourself starting to learn more how to nurture yourself be within your emotional state perhaps and feel okay with it you are experiencing a spiritual blossoming take a new direction and be open to new experiences so again this is something new childlike energy saying you know you need to play right now and just enjoy yourself and perhaps with your friends you know what i mean live playfully and with a light heart listen to the voice of your inner child so what does your inner child want to do maybe now you find yourself in a um time in your life where you could take a different direction so it's kind of like what do you want to do this is time for you to decide smell the roses yeah the lotus here and allow yourself to blossom you know and become be rebirthed if you will because this is the also the butterfly energy awaken all of your senses it's like allow all of your um your sight your taste your touch your hearing all of yourself to be connected with spirit at this time within yourself and to help you to find that way forward so slow down and become aware of your senses all right and what they may be telling you how do you feel in a given moment just slow down and say okay how am i feeling right now just check in with yourself a couple times a day you'll see in a major difference the tree of wishes is calling your name an almost forgotten wish will now come true Ooh, what could that be i'd definitely like to hear about that cancer let me know what this is all about all right so the last reading of um you could be dealing with a gemini because gemini got these same two cards in the same placement. So this one in the first and this one in the last. So this is a time of releasing guilt around something, okay? And allowing yourself to more or less live once again after something traumatic has happened. Yeah, I do feel, I always feel that way when I see this card because it talks about protect what you love. It is your duty and responsibility. And I think we got this card for you, if I'm not mistaken, last week as well. So I do feel like you're doing some healing, a lot of healing perhaps, maybe somebody died. We do have this tombstone here and she's playing the harp and the harp is like, you know, I, won't, I don't wanna necessarily say depressing, but it isn't necessarily like, uh, a more upbeat type of melody that's played with the harp, right? Listen to the eternal song of your soul, that one that's always playing in the background that's asking you, that still small voice to listen, that inner child about which way that you've been wanting to go for so long, and now that wish can come true. That's what I feel like with that uh, tree of wishes that came out as we were shuffling. Tune into 
your senses at this time and learn to trust them to guide you in the way that you need to go at this time and moving forward is really what I feel. All right, Cancer. Um, but you may be dealing with Gemini. I keep wanting to call you Gemini. All right, yeah, Gemini. I keep stopping myself, but Cancer, all right? <laughs> I'm just saying, so lovers came out here on the bottom. Interesting. Definitely, this could be healing yourself after you learn some truth. And this could be the truth as well, that you are healing yourself from a lover situation. One that maybe was long-standing and didn't end up working out. You are experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Yeah, you're removing all of the confusion. Um, I just saw 1010 on the timer. It's like, you know, you wanna see things for how they really are. You don't wanna be confused any longer, you know, especially if this is something dealing with inside your home. You don't wanna have, you know, people keeping secrets from you and things of that nature, right? That's not any way to live, you know, you can't be happy, you can't rest when you're in that kind of energy, right? And you need to rest and heal right now because whatever this has been that's thrown you so much off of balance, you know, has definitely taken its toll on you. Yep, looks like some there may have been a third party energy with that three of pentacles and a justice in reverse. So this is you now healing after this situation, all right? You're just now maybe coming out of it or working on it is what I'm seeing with this energy. This caused a lot of confusion. This person really did a number on your head, if you will, you know, awaken your senses. Yes, when you put that conflict behind you, when you uh, take all those swords out of your back, right, and all the confusion, then you can do that a lot easier, right? Got to definitely make those changes that are going to help us to get in the flow, you know, get our foundation in place and feel good again. Yeah, feels like, you know. I just, you just maybe keep missing all the good stuff, all the good things or good people, you know, all the good partners keep passing you by kind of situation, right? You're sitting here thinking about like, what in the heck is going on here? This person really did do a number on you is what I feel. And that's why you may be feeling guilty and shameful, almost like, you know, how could I have trusted this person? I knew better. You know, I've always loved myself and always chosen myself and not allowed these kind of people to get into my heart in the past. But that's okay. You know, this happens. We do let people in sometimes when a lot of times we're not in the right place and we still have some healing work to do, all right? But you knew it was time to get out or you know it's time to get out. You know that you've got to love yourself because you know, you're just not seeing things clearly from this perspective. It's time to get unstuck from this situation. You know, it's like fighting a losing battle is really what I see with this energy of the seven of wands in reverse. Yep, leading nothing to heartbreak. Spirit's like, you need to get the hell out of Dodge quick, because look at that energy. Five of Cups flew on the floor, and then we have the Knight of Swords energy. Absolutely, he is making his way. The getaway, <laughs> maybe that's what I'll call this reading, the getaway. All right, yeah, you need to get away from that energy, right? Knights, they are not that predictable and committal type, but you know... Sometimes we do take chances on them because, gosh darn, they are such good, you know, salesmen. I mean, they just throw that pitch really well, don't they? They just know what they're doing. What can I say? Have a way with words. All right, what's coming out for love for cancer, please? Love for cancer. Show me what we need to know, please. No longer crying over spilled milk, I hope. But that definitely will keep you stuck. <laughs> Release your ex. Time to do a cord cutting ceremony for sure. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you've uh, been in sexual relations with this person. Unrequited love. I think that's pretty clear. You know that this person has not been committed. And definitely this has taken a hit on your finances is what this feels like as well. Definitely get to know the next person better is what I would say with this. Getting to know each other, definitely take your time next time is what I would say if you're in this energy. So you're going to have to work on getting yourself perhaps out of several holes, not just an emotional hole. And maybe that's why this has taken a little bit of a toll on you, you know? 
that you can do this and you've got your circle of girls or guys, your friends and your angel, you know, ancestors and all those people that are supporting you as well. So don't forget to ask for help and don't forget to love yourself. All right. Blessings to you. Cancer, hit the like button, subscribe and bell notification and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.